Getting to the finish line each Wednesday and Saturday is always full of trials, tribulations, and challenges. During this tour, Claudio, Mel, and Brad capture the stage. Mel experiences drama while spotting and gets blobbed by his birds but still manages a great morning for his guests. Brad Field hunts for ducks from the Cabela's Shadow Free Blinds and Claudio wraps up the tour the classic pottle hunt for mallards. Some days you just can't script this stuff. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. This whole bird hunting thing, Besides the fact it's a business that I built, I started when I was 26 and 27, it's how I feed my kids. Um, the real interesting part of it for me is, and, and I don't get me wrong, I love setting up the decoys, I love watching the birds finish, but it's putting together a three day package and having smiles on hunters' faces every day at lunch and every night at supper and managing every hunt and all the resources we have and when it comes together, after two and a half days, and, and at the end of it, we've, we pulled it off. And it's not always that easy. I mean, there's so many variables out there. I mean, there's weather, there's other hunters, there's the birds, they're wild. They do what they want whenever they want. So, you know, we're always trying to second guess and anticipate what the birds will do based on historical data. And that's hard, that's hard to do, you know? So it, it's putting that whole thing together and the excitement and the adventure of getting up every day and doing that is what drives me. There's some geese, I gotta follow them, figure out how to shoot them. <laughs> yeah, I just got a phone call from one of our, uh, well, I don't think he's a farmer, but he, he lives in the area where my hunt's at. He said a couple of guys are over there uh, taking pictures, so, I'm on my way to my hunt, make sure they're not gonna disturb it and, and ruin this hunt for us. So don't wanna cause grief with anybody, but on the same note, it's my target for the morning and I don't want my hunt ruined because somebody's trying to get a picture of a goose. So we're not gonna let that happen tonight. This isn't good at all. Well, I got a guy parked right in between my two hunts. It'll make the birds nervous. I could, could I, could I get you guys to move up there? Yeah. Because my birds are going back and forth here. I'm gonna hunt this in the morning. Oh, you're hunting. Yes. Yeah, and, I, and I, I don't, I don't want us to bug them. So if I'm sitting here, there, it's gonna disturb them. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. I'll, I'll call you right back, buddy. I'll just show you whereabouts you can park, okay? I think I'm about to take a few shots. Is that okay? Well, uh, no, because we're going to bug the birds and they won't come in. Oh. I, got, I got to get you to come up here, oh. okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Sure. Holy moly. Yeah, I'm just watching my birds come in here. I just had a really unique situation. Uh, I have permission on two fields. The road runs through them. He's sitting right in the middle of the road, and what he's doing is just taking pictures, but he doesn't understand that it'll affect the uh, complexity of my hunt, so I asked him to move because I don't want something going wrong here. I got a lot of birds coming in right now and it's no time to be driving up and down the, the road bothering them. I'm just gonna sit here and watch them for a bit, and make sure that nothing goes wrong.
Well, I've got some ducks going into a pothole right there. And except for, I mean, I just got word that Mel has a monster combo uh, for tomorrow morning. So that's gonna trump me. So unfortunately, I'll be out for tomorrow morning and we'll go best foot forward on the big one. But uh, I'll probably hunt this one later on in the week. And Mel's in, should be a good one. Birds have settled down, they're all down in the field feeding real good, so we should be good to go for the morning. Lots of ducks, lots of snow geese, some specks, but we should do pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah, every, everything's settling out, so we're good to go. So, checked on my combo, which we're not hunting tomorrow, but the next day, it's looking good. Um, just checked on my honkers. I, it's pretty close to dark. I don't know how many are in there. By the sounds of it, there's a bunch in there. I could see a few of them, but at least I know they're in there because they've been a little spotty in this field. So, be back here tomorrow. Hopefully, if all goes as planned, I'll be hunting these Canada's tomorrow night with the group that's hunting ducks with Jay. So, that's the plan. As long as it sticks in the morning, it's a go. We're just about set up. It's going good. Uh, we, we got uh, the good old boys from California, and uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Our wind's kind of funky this morning, but we'll get around that. So yeah, excited again. Lots of birds here, hopefully they come. I can hear them on the roost. Gonna be a good one. Just make sure you're covered up, good boys. Let them get together, guys, if they will. Get They'll only make so many passes. We gotta go. <laughs> get right back down, because some of these doobies will do it again. Kill them, guys, kill them. Get right, load and get right back down. Kill him, guys. Kill him. Try those ones. Good shooting, boys. As quick as you can, get right back down. Kill him, guys! You better get some shells in there and get down. <laughs> Kill him, guys. Kill him, guys. Okay, get right back down. 
Yellow. Nothing wrong with that, boys. Okay, we got ducks off to our left. The shoot's over. Uh, we had real clear a clear day today. We did really well. We got lots of birds, but without that cloud cover, yesterday was a total different ball game because the geese didn't all get up at once. This morning we had a I don't know how many thousand got all off the roost at one time. The problem with that is they come all at once, so a few break off, you're gonna shoot those. Once you've stirred them up, of course, you're losing all of those. Some of them did come back throughout the morning. Uh, the guy shot awesome. But yeah, I don't know, we're, we're probably in the excess of around that 70 bird mark, so yeah, no, it was great, a lot of fun, yeah. On to the afternoon. I think Brad's got us covered for the afternoon. I'll finish up our ducks and uh, get a few more geese, and yeah, it'll be good. Bird. <laughs> bird feather. We're close. Oh. <laughs> so far, so good. We had a good day this morning. Now we need an afternoon hunt to get a few duckies. Just trying to get going here. Looks like we got some cloud cover. I bet you the birds will fly early today. So I got silo socks left. I'm uh, gonna hunt with the layout blinds tonight. Um, so I got them pretty blocked up. So I got lots of decoys around the blinds. Shooting them in the face, ducks, lasters, a few honks, and a few snows. So I'm just adding the snows just for realism. Not a lot, not a lot, because for the honkers, I don't like to use silos. So just a little bit to make us look like what, what was in here this morning. And then hopefully I figure the ducks will be here right away. So hopefully it goes good. Clean up their ducks, get a few geese, call her a day. Go, go, go. It's windy out. We're gonna have to let him get in real tight. Go, 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 go. They be, they being funny. Yeah, they're being a little funny. Geese seem to be working. Ducks are being a little funny on us. Moving that robo duck around a bit, trying to get them to get them out front a bit more. Problem is, I got them out a little far, and now we got we got a stiff wind, so it's hard to get them in tight. So we're just moving and making adjustments here on every volley, try to get them in, get them working for the guys. Ready, ready, ready. Wait. Go boys, go, 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 go. That worked nice. Go, go, go. Man, that's nice with the sun shining on them.
Go, boys. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. So we got our we got our ducks in short fashion when we had to wait a while to do it. Uh, we had a couple good flights of geese to it. Early one I botched, I heavy wind, I called them maybe a hair early. We knocked a couple out of there. And then we cleaned up our ducks. I mean our ducks kind of lit on the other end of the field. I had to leave these guys for a bit, bump them up, but in short fashion after that they got them. So we're all done. Good day. Clean up, get them home for dinner, and they have their last hunt tomorrow morning. Uh, it's funny because one of the guys mentioned, this wasn't on my hunt, hunt, but one of the luckies got absolutely hit full pattern. So funny how the heavy hammer really did its mark. So I'm getting this one out of here. Uh, this morning I was watching a pothole shoot and it was absolutely rocking. So of course I have permission on it and I just want to make sure these are on charge. It was just a bit of a scramble this morning. Didn't get this stuff done and normally we do it immediately and we didn't. So. Basically, I have a cattail rim slough. I'm hoping the wind's out of the east in the morning, but uh, if it's not, whatever, I'll react. Whole bunch of mallards hitting, uh, like I said, cattail rim slough. I just want to make sure the robots are on charge, make sure there's no surprise, like I grab a broken one. How does this happen? Uh, it's going really well this morning. I mean, the wind, you know, I woke up at about one in this morning. I thought, oh man, if that wind's not right, we're, it's a mess. This pond's 350 yards long. There's a lobe on it. The feed activity's all in this corner, but if you have a south wind, it would just be w really messy. And uh, right at the lodge, it was out of the southwest. I thought, ah. And then, uh, you know, got up on the hill this morning, hit the puffer right out of the northwest as forecast. Uh, of course, now we're in a little basin, so you don't feel the wind. And I hit my puffer. And I can just see the drift, it should be good, you know. Hopefully we'll we'll be all right. The guys are working on a blind right behind me, lots of cattails, so pretty clean, easy. I'll just throw out about 75 of the Cabela's floaters and off we go. A couple robo ducks. Should be good. Good to go. Um, yeah, the Claudio says too long. He knows my name now. That's kind of dangerous. When a guy knows your name, you know, then you've been coming too long. But uh, I think I came up here in uh, like 2004. At least. I think 15 years. Yeah, at least. Yeah, something like that. It's just incredible to come up. We hunt a lot of ducks at home and it's never as fast as it is here. And people always wonder, well, why do you go there? Because just the excitement of uh, shooting ducks and having many ducks right behind each other over and over and over again. It's just really incredible. Once you do it, you're addicted. So you just keep coming back for more. Right here, right here. Kill these three guys, right there, right there, right there. Nice shot. Shoot him if you want, shoot him. Nice. Hang on, hang on, hang on, we're gonna get these in. <laughs> Guys, kill those, kill those, kill those. Right there, right there. Guys, kill those, kill those, kill those, right there, right there. Okay, go, 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 if you think they're close enough there. Not exa oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, right there.
Now go. Nice shot, Don. That was a nice shot. That had to feel good, huh? No, that was what? 16, maybe 20 yards? They're doing it nice. In the hole. Hey, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Watch these three, watch these three. Oh, shit, Why? Go, 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 right there, right there, guys. Three, there was five there. Ready? Now shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Get ready, guys, hold tight. Now shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. It's a wrap. Okay, I didn't Went get Went well it. this morning. All right, so, you know, it worked. I mean, I was a little bit nervous this morning because it's such a big pond with the way the wind was, but, you know, and it switched on us a little bit and then it corrected, so it was all good. I mean, I probably could have been in hindsight 30 yards further to the right, but that's all right. Uh, you know, these guys shot well. Anytime you can go shoot 32 mallards in an hour or so, I mean, that's pretty good. Well, they shot a couple of pintails, I see, and I think it might be too. But anyways, just an all around great morning, you know, and, and just another, Great day at the office and just another day in paradise.